Good evening and welcome to the news of Ashbadok TV. Today's stories include The Declaration of Freedom and Change Support the Transitional Government The Security and Defense Council welcomes the UNITAMS the armed forces affirmed the desolation of the popular defense. The forces of the Declaration of Freedom and Change, the FFC, has welcomed the UN Security Council Resolution 2524 for the establishment of the political mission to support the transition in Sudan and the Resolution 2525 for the extension of the UNIMAD mission to the end of the year. The statement has welcomed the international response to the request of the transitional government to provide international support for Sudan at a critical time, stressing the need for all components of the transitional authorities to work together in a manner that ensures the achievement of the maximum benefits from the contribution of the international community in supporting the Sudanese people to achieve their desired goals. The government welcomed the resolution number 2524 for the year 2020, which is concerned with the establishment of the Integrated Transitional Assistance Mission in Sudan, or the UNITAMS, to provide technical support to the government of the international period of the transitional period and resolution 2525 regarding the extension of the mandate of the UNIMAD until the 31st 2020 which is issued by the United Nations Security Council on June 23rd this year the members of the Sovereign Council deputy chairman of the higher national committee and member of the Defense and Security Council Mr. Hassan al-Sheikh Idris has affirmed that the meeting number 12 of the Defense Council, which was held in the Republican Palace on Saturday, welcomed the UNITAM's establishment and the UNIMED's extension decision issued by the UN Security Council on June 3rd. The armed forces have established that the desolation of the Popular Defense Force, its coordination bodies, and the National Service Coordinators is an irreversible decision. The armed forces have noted in a press sec circular that what was circulated in the social media about the return of the Popular Defense Forces with changing its name and the return of the Operation Forces and the General Intelligence Forces is not true. The armed forces have affirmed that this news is not true and that there is no existing body that represents what was contained in the circulated false information which was intended to offend the military organizations in a way that serves the agenda of the enemies of the country. The negotiation between the government and the armed struggle movement delegation on the security agreement file has continued on Saturday through video conference in Khartoum and Juba. The negotiations reviewed a number of articles concerning the security arrangements. The negotiations will continue until the two sides have reached an agreement on the contents of the file, on a time set by the mediators. The citizens of all banks in the capital city Khartoum have scrambled to withdraw, deposit and transfer transactions while others have stopped working due to network fluctuations power outages and lack of gas to run the generators to continue the work. Today, the citizens have lined up in front of a number of banks in the capital city hoping to complete their procedures after stopping work, according to an official publication from the Central Bank of Sudan, according to the imposed quarantine announcements. Citizens have returned to the same previous me method of money changers bread, fuel, and gas by registering their names with the bank's policemen to organize clients. The Sudanese Foreign Minister, Ms. Esma Mohammed Abdullah, has affirmed that 90% of the Grand Ethiopian Renaissance Dance 
disputed points are agreed on, adding that the satisfactory agreement will be reached over the remaining points. She added on a television interview on Saturday that Sudan is a genuine partner and not a mediator between Egypt and Ethiopia, adding that its stance on the GERD was explained during the negotiations. She pointed out that the principles of Sudan are just the utilization of water and the rejection of any harm on others. Besides exchanging of the information and a peaceful solution to the disputes and a peaceful solution to the disputes according to the international law. The Sudan transitional government has kicked off negotiations with the International Monetary Fund, the IMF, for applying staff monetary programs in the country. The Sudan Minister of Finance and Economic Planning, Mr. Ibrahim Al Bedoui, has said the resumption of talks with the IMF will bring Sudan to the sound position in the international monetary system. He also described this decision with prior steps to direct support for Sudan's budget through funding the macro development projects that are relevant to peace building, increasing productivity, and creating work opportunities for Sudan's youth. The joint meeting between the government of the River Nile State and the Federal Committee tasked with implementing the decision of the National Prime Minister regarding receiving the wheat crops, stopping on the extent of implementation of the federal decision and the response of the farmers to the decision and the mechanisms taken by the state to ensure the arrival of the wheat quantities to the store of the Agricultural Bank. The meeting also discussed the progress of the delivery process and the quantities that were actually delivered as well as the problems and obstacles facing the delivery process and how to develop the solutions to ensure completion of the delivery. The government of West Darfur State inaugurated the activity of the civil initiative to support the success of the agricultural season. The governor of West Darfur, Mr. Rabi Abdullah, assured that the initiatives will enhance the security and stability witnessed by the state and maintain the social peace and peaceful coexistence amongst the population components of the state, praising the efforts made by the owners of the initiatives in the spirit of responsibility. The peace negotiations efforts in Juba will be supported in relations to their starting from the basis represented by the community of the state, especially the herders and farmers who are the real stakeholders, stressing that the initiative will continue to the protection and success of the agricultural season to increase production, achieve the aspirations of the state's people in sustainable development. Reminding headlines. The Declaration of Freedom and Change support the transitional government. The Security and Defense Council welcomes the UNITAMS. The armed forces affirm the desolation of the power defense. That was everything from Ashuruk TV. See you next time.